Psalm 73 and 3. It says, For I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain, violence covereth them as a garment. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shakti from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And I brought this out because of this article right here. All right. It says teen acquitted of killing her baby says she's forever sorry. And as you can read the small caption under the video. It says an Ohio jury found 20-year-old Brooke Schuyler Richardson not guilty of involuntary manslaughter and child endangerment on September 12th. The article proceeds as follows. From the day the police showed up at her family's house to the day she was acquitted of murder, Brooke Schuyler Richardson never spoke publicly about what happened to the baby girl whom she named Annabelle as strangers branded her a baby killer as she started down the possibility of life in prison. The 20-year-old Ohio woman who insisted her child was stillborn kept her feelings to herself. Richardson's silence ended Friday when she stood in a Warren County courtroom for her sentencing hearing, addressing a judge and briefly turning to the rest of the room. She apologized repeatedly I just wanted to say how sorry I was, said Richardson, who goes by Skyler. I can sometimes be selfish, but I would like to think that I've become better in the knowledge that I've upset everyone and hurt so many people with what I'm done, and I'm forever sorry. It was the conclusion of what Richardson's attorney called a nightmare a tabloid saga in which the former high school cheerleader was accused of killing her newborn two days after her May 2017 prom. Okay, the lurid details of the case included recanted allegations that Richardson burned the baby's corpse before burying it in her family's backyard, drew national headlines, and turned the young woman into a pariah in her small town. It says, although jurors acquitted Richardson of the most serious charges on Thursday, they convicted her of gross abuse of a corpse, a felony that carries a one-year maximum sentence. <laughs> Judge Donald Oda on Friday sentenced her to seven days in jail, releasing her with credit for time served. But first, he rebuked her for showing a grotesque disregard for life in what he called a story of two little girls, Skylar Richardson and Annabelle Richardson. Now, Psalm 73 and 3, for I was envious at the foolish. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. And the only reason why this chick is getting away with this is because one, not only is she an Edomite, but she's an Edomite female. And as we all know, in bad uncle Esau's kingdom... Edomites have preferability and biasness that work in their favor. And if you're a female, knowing that this wicked society uplifts women over men, okay, that's like a, you get double bonus points. Because something like this, 
this chick should have been put in jail at the bare minimum. At the bare minimum, she should have been put in jail. And because she got away with it, we go to verse 6. It says, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a garment. Because you have to be very prideful to get in front of a, 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 a jury and a judge, a whole courtroom full of uh, jurors and people who work in law and tell them, sometimes I can be selfish. You let your baby go full term and then you killed it. Not only that, you got a wicked judge sitting on the bench that didn't render a righteous judgment. Okay, he gave the he only gave her a week and said, oh well, that's just time served. Hey, you just as guilty as her. She did a crime where she deserves to really be put to death. Because as the scripture says, what was it? If any man sheddeth man's blood, by man's blood shall it be shed. Yep, Genesis 9 and 6. It says, Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For the image of the Most High made he man. Okay, so it was not that even though she's the mother, it was not her right to let her child come to full term, be born, and then put her child to death. And then not only that, the, 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 the way you did it is, as the article said, it was highly grotesque. I mean, who, who, who would do something like that to their own flesh and blood? Hey, and let me, let me get that too. I think it's in Ecclesiasticus where it says, uh, if a man can't be good to himself, who can he be good to? I want to say that is in Ecclesiasticus. But if I can't find it, that's okay. Yeah. Ecclesiasticus 14 and 5. It says, He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. Okay. Because what that woman did was unusually cruel. It was unusually cruel. Now, if that's the case, if you were in uh, uh, such disbelief or you didn't want a child... Not that I'm advocating for abortion. I don't advocate for abortion. But I'm just saying for the, the story purposes, in this dumb chick's case, if this chick didn't want the child, why didn't you get an abortion way before then? Or why didn't you just use protection? All right? You sat there and let your body change for nine to ten months. And then once you had the baby, you're like, you know what? Uh, you know, I don't want this. 
I think I'm going to kill it and just bury it in the backyard. I'm good. That is unusually cruel. Unusually cruel. Okay? This is what you have here in Babylon the snake. And let me see if this article is saying anything else. It says, uh, I firmly believe, in fact, I know, Miss Richardson, in my heart, that if you would have made different decisions in this case, Annabelle would be here today, Oda said. This is the judge. And I know that may be difficult for you to hear. Some people are inclined to think of themselves. This is America. We kill unborn babies every day, but I don't think of it that way. What do you mean you don't think of it that way? That's exactly what it is. Hey, that's 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 being double minded. Okay, let me get the scripture on that. James 1 and 8, okay, it says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So this guy, this judge, Oda, who I'm sure is a Edomite, um, they don't have a picture him, but I'm about 200% positive that he's a Edomite. So he knows that we live in a country where people are selfish and they only think about themselves, which is true. All right, you have everybody talking about YOLO, uh, living my best life, do us doubt will. As long as it feels good, it's right. You know, that's the mentality here in America. And this judge knows this. But he's going to sit up there and say, for, for this chick, I know that this is not the case. This is pure, outright wickedness. All right. If you can't tell that this world has been given into the hands of the wicked, I don't know what to say because this, this, this is typical behavior of, of, of bad Uncle Esau and his offspring. Also, th this is very typical behavior of the people who are in positions of authority to obscure judgment. Because this was not supposed to happen. At all. If we were in a righteous kingdom, this 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 devil right here, all right, would not have done it. Or if she did do it, she would have got put to death. All right, but see, she's too young, 20 years old, has a whole life ahead of her. Okay? This chick would be out. <laughs> I mean, she can do this standing on her head, as the street saying goes. But the thing is, she'll be out to go back into society, be selfish, be reckless, find some, some simp that's going to wife her up and, and have another child like nothing ever happened. Hey, this is why the Lord had to come back and get us, because this, this society is madness. These, these people are, 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 are vile. And, and it's, it's just vexing to see this madness take place and there's no justice. Hey, but Most High saw this and, hey, this, this girl going to have a hell of a trick bill when that day of uh, judgment rolls around. But nonetheless, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostle, elders, a great millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we want to say Shalom.